So I can't help that I don't have the political father that makes me feel comfortable. But legacy has got us to this point. And whoever the mayor is, needs help. You can't have war council people who take a sick back, fold, folded arms approach to leadership to so young people. You gotta know what we do. This council person went on the record saying the reason why foreclosures, which is the highest in the South War, and modifications in the state of New Jersey to go through one, and they are great things. We should be getting modifications. If your income change, you talk about entrepreneurs, you need to get modifications. That's what all that government money was for. But in the state of New Jersey, you have to be in foreclosure to qualify to even get in the process for a modification. I'm on my second one. I'm not living in a condo somewhere making $300,000 not giving a damn about what's going on in my world. So I'm running to be a full-time counselor. I'm running to be engaged and knowledgeable and in, 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 in tune with what's really going on. When the councilman said on a recent news, a radio interview, he's only going on radio now because he's campaigning and because he's running against me. He wasn't on radio before. He wasn't sending emails before. He wasn't going to events with the mayor before. And they weren't bringing out all the garbage trucks and cleaning up today all over the, all over the South Board before. And so, and, and, and so that's not what we pay $85,000 plus a year for. So I'm saying he can make whatever he wants to make. But this was his second job, not the county. So he don't have time for us. He's shown us that. He said that if you want to save your homes in the South Ward, the problem with us is enough of us aren't married. Somebody that's not married. Somebody that tried to destroy a woman's career up there in Irvington. But we, we will talk about that on another day. I'm just talking about character. I'm just talking about character. When a person will get on live television, see, 1986 they only had newsletters that his father would type. You can't hide behind those. You got it. You're on. You're on social media. So you got to be comfortable like Councilwoman Bessie Walker is and engage with social media. You got to be comfortable like Councilwoman Gail Chamberlain taking all the way to social media with your ass like that. And um, but but you got to be a leader today. And so when he said that, it shows he's out of tone. But what he was trying to make a point in saying is that he understands. He heard through the grapevine that. Folks in York make under forty-four thousand. So he said, "You know what? If you get one spouse and another spouse, and you both make forty, that's eighty right there." He missed the um, assessment that happened a week before that said eighty-four thousand isn't enough to uh, maintain a mortgage anywhere in the state of New Jersey, let alone We're North. We're the highest property tax so state. Those things those say that things he say says that he's disconnected. Those things would suggest any other place that you're not qualified to lead. It may even suggest you don't care. But five legislation, le legislative aides, when you have staff meetings, what are you talking about? What are they updating you on? Where are you dispersing them to in the community? So for foreclosures, when we talk about relatability, I'm going to share my experience with the most important. We're going to be engaged. We want some voters. Ask yourself. How can a person that works from 9 to 5 mm -hmm. at the County of Essex address all the different issues that was just talked about in this room? One. Two. If he doesn't have the transferable skills that are relevant to community organizing and leading mm -hmm. efforts relevant to the community, what is he instructing his five council aides to do? Mm -hmm. Why is he in terms, of, in terms of folks just going? And so I don't see consistent... Thank you, Councilwoman. I don't see consistency in terms of even remotely managing. And so hiding under the shadow of, of, of Mayor Baraka, hiding under the shadow of Aníbal Ramos saying, we both work for the county, we both have a job, I say, go walk down Mount Prospect, then walk down Bergen Street, walk down Mount Prospect again, on your way back, stop on Ferry Street, go up Clinton Avenue, Come down Lines Avenue, go up Chancellor Avenue, feel on Heights on the Oil list, but if you won't find one business corridor that resembles any one of those sections. And so a needle comes from a 40-year-old machine. That's right. That it's not really about the person in the seat until they make it about the person in the seat. That's not our politics. That's not what we have. The South War has been fragmented, has been disenfranchised has been always pit against each other for generations all my life that's the same things the same cast of characters the same people 
it's a blessing to be in the room with folks today while you like it or not. Now, what side of history you want to be on? What role you want to play? That's up to you. But we got to get away from how we did it in 1986 and how it was sort of laid out for us to be. And we got to get away from that. You've given every political son in this ward an opportunity. Yes, yes. you have. I'm asking for an opportunity. I'm sorry I don't have a political father. I got a father that helped clean Bergen Street. I got a father that had to go to drug rehab a few times. I got a father that, that's, that moved out, relocated down south after being in North all the time. At Wheatway High School, they called him the professor because my grandmother said he would correct the teachers. That's how smart he was. My grandfather was a, a, a Earl Johnson. Best friends with Councilman Donald Bradford. I knew him well. I knew One him. One of the like Sell it. selling them off as condos. Condos. And then it's illusionary zones. 80% of your water rent is, you talk about 20% affordable housing. We just told you that 44, most of your population is paid under 44,000. They can't afford $1,500 a month. Plus, uh, what do you call those condo fees? That they the fancy condo fees. Maintenance fees, they call it. They can't, your renters can't afford that. Your homeowners are hanging on for their life. Yes. My name is Terrence L. Banks and I'm a candidate for South Board Councilman here in the city of Newark. I am also my C1, the first on the ballot, so it's easy to find me this time. And back for his father is John doesn't care. That's it. I'm not saying politics true. and doesn't care about the ward. It is impossible. I figure for hate to go hate and my thoughts on them are irrelevant. Hi, my name is Terrence L. Pinkston. I support.